So finally I was able to play Sword of Convalaria and this is the game I've been anticipating the most and yeah I probably can say that this is the next gen or the next gacha game in 2024 like the first one actually that we are able to play. Note that I did get an early copy of this game and have been playing it uh, for like maybe like 5 hours of this one. But I am free to say anything and create whatever it is about this game, so that is pretty cool from the developer itself. This game is absolutely gorgeous, just from the visuals alone, if you like, you know, Octopath Traveler, or any, like, maybe 2.5D pixelated art style, yeah man, this is the game for you. And the first thing when you are in the game is that we can choose which main character we wanna be. Uh, we want to be a female or a male. Uh, it's a typical generic gacha game at this point, and you are greeted with a good voice acting. There is out of play cutscene in this game, that is cool, and I like that. Things like this makes it such an enjoyable experience to the game because we can just relax and watch the whole cutscenes like we are in a movie. Not to mention that the voice acting in this game is quite good. I wasn't expecting it to be very very good and as far as I know this game is developed by XD so if you know XD they always make a good game like they are always fun to play and everything seems to be polished yeah there is this new game also called um, Etheria Restart it's probably more similar to Honkai Star Rail and it is also developed by XD but for now let's focus on this game let's talk about the visuals it is gorgeous 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 there's no doubt about it they even admit that it took some inspiration from octopath traveler but thank god it's not an Honkai genshin art style because i am so bored of that kind of art style uh, this game has super bright and vibrant visuals even when we are in the prison uh, as you can see right in the video light is bouncing around man this thing alone the art style alone is making me want to play this game but you know without gameplay without a good gameplay like what's the use and let's talk about the gameplay for a brief moment so the gameplay is a strategy turn-based combat but you all be thinking this is going to be similar to war of the vision or even like this gaia but actually no actually this game is more similar to fire emblem just take a look from the ui so similar to fire emblem the fun thing about this is that the combat is simple yet so satisfying when we killed an enemy. Honestly, the first stages of the game is quite easy, and you can one-shot all the enemies, which is not that exciting. Kinda meh, in my opinion. But the more you go on, the more stuffs that you can use in your combat. For example, we can knock back some barrels to deal AoE damage to the enemies surrounding it. It is a simple mechanic, yet very nice to use. You can knock back enemies outside of the map and basically one-shotting them. Auto feature is pretty smart too in this game, so I fucking love it. I think they also took some inspiration from Persona 5 because take a look at this cat. This cat is really similar to Morgana from Persona 5 and very addicted to Wheel of Fortune. And if you don't know already, Morgana in Persona 5 also loves Fortune and of course the tarot cards like the fool, the magician, and so on. It is quite refreshing to see something like this, like the tarot card be implemented to a gacha game it is something new so i like it the story is mysterious and it kept me engaged i usually don't care about the story but this one has a good storytelling which again surprised me and the story is really dark though it's about killing and torture and just killing well at first it doesn't seem like it because of the vibrant art style and um, you know the cute chibi 2d pixelated art style but Damn, man, just take a look at this. Everybody is dead. Everybody is like, I don't know, they want to get raped or something. So it's about destroying things, killing innocent people. God damn, it is dark. It is, it is for a mature audience and I love it. Well, for an early access game, I did found some bugs where the screen border stuck at the middle when switching to full screen mode, but you can fix this with exiting your game which is really nice so it's a simple fix but then again yeah it is a bug so that is basically it about sword of convalaria um i do like it gameplay is pretty nice the gameplay is similar to fire emblem visual effects sound design 
and the storytelling is also pretty good. And of course, the voice acting. I fucking love good voice acting. Auto feature is also good. Quality of life, it's 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 up there, you know. It's up there like Honkai Star Rail. But I think they can improve more. That said, it is a good gacha game, and I'm super excited to be playing this game when it is full release. And this is the first gacha game that we can play that release in 2024. Super good, super good. And just by playing this, I am super excited about what is the next gacha game in 2024. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys as always in the next one. Nyok. 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 Nyok.